to bio class class 10 look at here at first we have to know about uh, our syllabus look at here here the science syllabus uh, the new syllabus 2021 let's take a look it's a biology part you need two world of living from here uh, life uh, processes control control and coordination animal and plant reproduction heredity and uh, evolution all these are in the syllabus and another uh, part is there also uh, our environment and the management of natural resources so from the beginning we will start the life processes now life processes chapter 6 uh, the first question will arise uh, from this chapter life what is what is life the definition is very complicated uh, mm, here we can uh, say like that uh, life is a aggregate of the vital processes like irritability growth reproduction etc which stimulate in synchronized way it means that the, all the processes are there all all everything is working and they are synchronized with each other uh, in this uh, chapter we learn uh, various uh, systems like digestive system respiratory circulatory all these systems vital processes and and all the processes which are linked together and and it will work in synchronized way let's uh, take one look at here here is one music concert you can see that the all are with a different organ here is a vocal uh, keyboards and some other instrument so all are playing uh, some theme and show that all together all together we can get one one uh, music piece song so life is compared with this here you can see that the different organ organ systems all are doing in synchronized way it does not mean that any one organ will work and it is not synchronized in case of music concert also if it is not synchronized then then it will not a song it will be chaos and exactly the same in life okay so that uh, we can start uh, that uh, the different uh, part of it the first is uh, nutrition so nutrition so nutrition is process of collection of food digestion absorption assimilation of food for the various body function like growth development etc it means that it is the entire process where the collection of the food the food will digest food will absorb and food will assimilate it goes inside the blood so so this entire process is called nutrition here uh, in uh, according to our syllabus here we are getting that autotrophic nutrition and and the uh, heterotrophic nutrition Hmm. autotrophic nutrition autotrophic nutrition uh, we, we know that this is photosynthesis uh, green plants are involved in this uh, sun from the use of sunlight water chlorophyll carbon di carbon dioxide they are preparing so there is no other type only one type is there that is the autotrophic self they are preparing this self hmm. all the food material is prepared itself and the nutrition itself another part of it that is uh, mm, heterotrophic <coughs> in heterotrophic mode of nutrition hetero means different so here there are various different types of uh, nutrition is there mm, out of that uh, sapro saprotrophic nutrition where that uh, nutrition is from the de identified material i think you know that the uh, fungi uh, mm, bread mold all this are uh, in this hmm. uh, uh, second type the parasitic mode uh, where uh, that uh, one 
host is there and another the parasite parasite will take uh, nutritive material from the host hmm. uh, third category here the holozoic nutrition where the whole animal is taken animal plant wherever taken as a food material uh, normally the animals are involved um, in this process so uh, the first we, we can start that uh, autotropic uh, type of nutrition in autotropic nutrition uh, mm, you know that uh, the carbon dioxide water with the help of the chlorophyll and the sunlight uh, the glucose uh, material uh, is formed that is the food for every living organism uh, and the oxygen is a byproduct another very important vi uh, vital product and the photosynthesis is the one of the complicated and uh, useful uh, reaction on earth and here is the three basic steps here it is there the absorption of the light uh, energy by the chlorophyll uh, and the conversion of the light energy the chemical energy by the splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen and the reduction of the carbon dioxide into carbohydrate let's take a look this uh, this this fact a little bit elaborate form now look at here sun sunlight at first it will it will fall on a uh, leaf and uh, it is reflected refracted um, then a very less amount is used here is the chloroplast hmm. uh, chloro chloroplast will absorb that that photon particle and here uh, the chlorophyll which excited the excited chlorophyll splits water water into hydrogen and hydroxyl ion which is then the light reaction and uh, from this hydroxyl uh, that is the uh, oxygen in evol evolved it means the beginning of the photosynthesis process the oxygen is evolved and it uh, it mixed to the nature hydrogen ion it involved in dark reaction dark reaction also start af just after that it means then in morning time uh, the light and dark both the reaction is there in the dark reaction uh, one a biochemical a ribulose bisphosphate ribulose bisphosphate it takes carbon dioxide from the air hmm, and and it is reduced and uh, several in several step the reduction of that carbon dioxide ultimately glucose is produced so glucose uh, this is the food for every living organism on earth hmm, and it is prepared in the process of photosynthesis hmm, i think hmm, you can uh, understand that there are two different uh, uh, reaction here the light reaction and the dark reaction in the light light reaction oxygen is evolved and in in dark reaction carbon dioxide is accepted from the uh, nature and amazingly that this uh, amount of the carbon dioxide and amount of the oxygen is same in both hmm. and glucose is formed which is the food and the oxygen is formed which is the uh, very important uh, respiratory gas for the animal so here you can see that the uh, the mesophyll tissues the mesophyll tissues the palisade spongy parenchyma here is the stomata uh mm, from from the leaf this part is showing this is the site for the photosynthesis mm. now here uh, mm, one thing you have to notice that for example desert plant take up carbon dioxide at night and prepare the intermediate mm. uh mm, you know that the desert plant desert plant uh the day time they are closing the stomata because Uh, because of that uh, huge amount of water it is uh, going out from the uh, stomatal root so that they are closing closing that at night they are opening the stomata so at night the carbon dioxide enter inside and the day time it is it is used hmm. so let's take take a look this diagram show that hmm. now look at here in desert plant plant what they are doing they the uh, stomata opens in uh, at night time the oxygen as enters and they are preparing one intermediate which is malic acid in the in the back wall hmm. uh, 
uh, when sunlight uh, enters you know that uh, when they are prepare, um, prepared for the next step the dark reaction um, this malic acid it releases carbon dioxide here um, in the chloroplast inside um, and and again it it is ready for the take the another carbon dioxide for the night time um, so this carbon dioxide they are preparing um, the glucose the wet stomach is entirely closed so this is the the one uh, type of here okay look at the structure of stomata here uh, mm, uh, look at here this is the open uh, state this is the closed state hmm. uh, opening and, and closing uh, it is controlled by this guard cell and the outer part the subsidiary cells and here is the uh, stomatal pore uh, chloroplast uh, is here hmm. so so when uh, when this uh, guard cell it is in carved state hmm, this two they they can open the stomatal pore the large amount of water water uh, can lost through the stomata hmm. already i told about the dessert plan hmm, why they they have closed uh, the stomata in the day time Hmm. If I give one uh, small example, then it, it will be very easy to understand. Hmm. Uh, Two fifty liter, uh, suppose liter of water uh, that is absorbed by plant, the big plant. Uh, they are absorbing two fifty liter. Hmm. Now, out of two fifty liter, that uh, half liter only they are using uh, for the photosynthesis. Hmm. and 4 and 1/2 4 and 1/2 liter they are using remaining other functioning the body remains inside the body rest it means that 245 which you calculate that 98% of water they uh, it is lost in the process of transpiration and it is through the stomatal pore so 98% of water they are removing from the body and it goes to the nature you know that uh, the, it is very useful for the nature and it uh, helps in the water cycle next part heterotrophic nutrition uh, already i told about that heterotrophic nutrition and uh, mm, you know that the parasite take uh, uh, nutritive strategies here mm, uh, the cascuta another and in your in your book one uh, very nice example of one uh, nutrition in uh, amoeba is there hmm. Hmm. let's see that so amoeba is very simple uh, organism hmm. uh, you know that they are uh, they can uh, form the pseudopodia and here is the food particle food food particle uh, when they can detect uh, the they will start form pseudopodia pseudopodia they will form in such a way they can capture this and they can form one food vacuole food particle it goes inside hmm. goes inside and after that the enzymatic reaction they can digest and another step it should be there that uh, the undigested food material they can throw it outside hmm. here here is the step few step So, so amoeba at first uh, they can get the uh, food. Hmm. Uh, the pellicle of the uh, pellicle uh, part uh, of the cell membrane of the amoeba can detect the food material. After that, they are forming the pseudopodia, which surround the food material. The food is now enclosed inside, so they are uh, taking it inside. Uh, food and water, and they are forming the food vacuole. the fourth step the enzyme from the uh, cytoplasms the uh, secret uh, secreted into the food vacuole food is, is digested into simple form uh, you know that the glucose uh, can form amino acid can form fatty acid glycerol can form hmm, uh, and absorb and then it is assimilated and and the last step here the undigested waste is expelled from it this is the 
very important uh, i mean part hmm. uh, many time it is there in the cbsc question paper and very easy part also uh, if you follow the um, following steps that 1 2 3 4 5 6 hmm, with the diagram and with the notes hmm, then it is very easy to understand okay next day uh, we'll start the nutrition in uh, uh, human being hmm. you prepare the the first uh, lesson uh, okay thank you